I hate to say it, it's only going to be going one way, and that is Novak Djokovic will win Wimbledon this year. I can't see him losing. Simply too good. So dominant here at Wimbledon, and I reckon he's going to get two, number 24 and five Wimbledons in a row. The only person that can stop Novak Djokovic in this tournament is Novak Djokovic. Andy That's... Murray. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Or as Sir Andy will come on. Other than that, it'll be Djokovic against his own body. Can he keep his body fit for the whole two weeks? If he can, probably name on the trophy. She has the easiest draw out of everyone. And I feel that Eager will win Wimbledon. She had practice tournament this time. She didn't have one last year. She probably learned from her mistake. I'm going to be going for Donna Vekic, the one with the 17th easiest draw according to AI. And I'm going to be having Donna Vekic winning Wimbledon 2023. I would love to see Novak Djokovic take home his 24th Grand Slam title this year at Wimbledon. And I would like to see Sabalenka win as well. Sebastian Korda claiming his first Grand Slam title on the women's side. I'm going Past the bingo. Kicking off on the men's side, Novak Djokovic will have as many Grand Slams as there are hours in the day. And on the women's side, I'm going with Anne Jabeur. She's going to be your women's champion. Let's go! Another big win for Novak Djokovic in the men's singles. And for the women's, I think Anne Jabeur is going to make us very happy and she's going to take the women's Wimbledon title. Djokovic's dreams of a calendar slam are going to be shattered again. And it's the little Spaniard that's going to do it. Carlitos Alcaraz will win Wimbledon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Game to Love. Happy Wimbledon Monday. I'm Nicolette, and we will be covering Onstraber Petra Kvitova. Oh my God, I literally was like running to get home to cover this in time. I cannot believe that we're back in a match. Like that was going to give me just enough time to get back and like enable in order to do this. And I need to see what happened because I was on the train and all of a sudden it was a walkover. So yeah, let's get into it. It is two, we have two very experienced grass players right now um finalist and champion here so i think i want ons ons to win just because you know she was a finalist and she hasn't won it before could of us done it so she's had that experience i do love her but i just think it's ons's turn you know and look at that ons has already broken yay Let's see if we have a jabber. Um, we do have a jabber button. Hopefully, we will be playing it a lot. All right. Dang, she she broke quick. Hey. I mean, these are two of like the most the nicest are. So we have been led to believe players on tour, and um. I only hear great things about both of them. So this is a hard one because I'd love either of them to win. But again, I think just because Kvitova has had this experience of winning, not once but twice before, I would love Ons to get over that hump. She's been the finalist. I would love to see her as the champion. I'd also love to see Sabalenka as a champion, but either of them I would love. So what are your predictions, everyone? Good morning if you're in California or the West Coast. Good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you guys are. Hello, Ram. Actually, who do you think is going to win? Oh, if you do not know me, I think and I hope that Djokovic will win. I It made me nervous, though, this morning because I was, like I said, I was on the train and I was watching um, or watching that app scores the live scores of Djokovic I was like when he had to go into a fourth set I was like I was kind of nervous but yeah I I think Djokovic will will win what about you I mean I I have to watch more of Carlos Alcaraz like I don't feel like I've watched him play on grass too much that's what everyone who everyone thinks I feel like his biggest threat is now but I don't I don't know. I, I have to familiarize myself more with Carlos on grass to see if 
I really think he's a threat. Well, Anja Burrs, 40-15. Could get an early lead. Let's hope. Oh my gosh, I, it, John just slipped. It makes me nervous. It's been super still be a ram. I am rooting for Carlos, but I think Novak is going to win. Okay. I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing. Um, Carlos just kind of like came out of nowhere. I feel like I just don't know too much about him. Um, so, but I mean, he's on his way and he cannot be ignored, so... But he's young. I feel like I want to give some of the older ones a chance before he comes and dominates everything. All right, go on. Two games to love. Hi, Capricorn. Yes, I know. I love her. And she took a break from the tour, didn't she, for a while? She was like, I need to do just take a break and just realize why I started playing again. And I think just be happier playing. And I feel like she's so much more relaxed on court, so much more confident. So, and that was, that was a... I just saw the score of that match, but it was long and it was crazy. Hello. Oh, we have another Ons fan. Yeah, I want. I would like Ons to win this one. Kvitova with a great serve. Okay, I mean they're both they're both just so solid. Ons crazy point that was great. The stands are like not full. It's driving me nuts because like I would go there, but I heard that. Wimbledon is um it's really hard to get tickets and it, it's like a lottery system if you want to sit in your tickets but there's all these empty seats here they should just have them um on sale could have a first serve out Rashid if I'm saying that right well done on carry on I agree Oh no, I want Sevalenka to win. Well, I want Ons or Sevalenka to win, but uh, ooh, we'll see. Oh my gosh, Kudova can't find her rhythm. She's had six on four stairs already. Ons is at zero. Let's see. All right, we well, she got that one. On hits it out. I'm like a second behind with my stream. I'm sorry. Um, but okay, she seems relaxed and steady. We'll see. Uh, she hit one out. You're she's good. <laughs> If I had to pick one on each side, Novak Djokovic and Victoria Azarenka for women's. I have loved them for like over 10 years. And um, yeah, I, okay. On, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Hit it into the net. We all do that, right? But doesn't mean she's breaking down. She's just, everybody's allowed to have one mistake or two. But Yes. What about your guys? Ram, who is your favorite? Who are your favorite players? All right, let's see if Kvitova can hold her serve. All right, nice serve. Nice rally. She hits into the net. All right, Ons might be okay. Oh my gosh, are you guys watching? It's showing me the Eubanks Titsy Pass match. So I'm kind of seeing that too but it it is like match point I think and if it, it, oh my god that would be crazy I hope it shows us it's sorry I'm looking at that for right now a bit of a crazy backhand oh my god crazy shot from arms those backhand slices wow That was a crazy shot. I thought Kvitova had that backhand volley. Ons wasn't going to get it. She just picks it up from her racket and 
completely. Oh my God, Christopher Eubanks just won. Wow. Wow. Dream run for him. I am so, that was great. I did not think that was going to happen. I love to see people like getting the experience. You know, he's in the second week of Wimbledon and he's only going further. He's going to get more money from the prize money. Like, I love that. All right. Sorry. Let's just give Ons her, uh, her uh, button for breaking again. And that amazing shot that she ran to just skimmed right over the net and dropped. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Ons Wow. And look at her. 30 love. And that's been two seconds. By the time I hit the button until now. All right, Ram, you like. Mm, okay. I like, I, I have an interesting relationship with Nick Kyrgios. And by that, I mean, we've never even met. But I'm saying like, my mom is Greek and she's from Australia. So He's like Greek and from Australia. So she's like, we have to root for him. We have to like him. And I feel like I, he was so mature before and just like, I didn't like his attitude, but I think he's been growing up the past few years. And so I've really started to enjoy him the past few years. All right, 4015 on. Let's see, serving. Oh my gosh, Kidova cannot find the rhythm she needs. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like a second behind. So right now she's serving 4015 on my stream. First serve into the net. Let's see. A second serve, nice backhand return, kind of goes off the net from Kritva. Forehand to Ons, backhand right, pops right on the line. Nice forehand from Kritva, forehand Ons. It's weird because she's a lefty. Ah, uh, out. She hits that way wide. It's weird because Kritva's a lefty, so I always like her backhand, you know, the side, add and do side are different. Um... Yeah, that's so cute that she is the Tunisian Minister of Happiness. I need to, I would, could never be that complaining way too much. But I, I'm going to try to be more, less complaining, more happy. LMAO. Why did Bedosa pull out of mixed doubles, by the way? Does anyone know? All right, Ons. Ah, serves again. Kvitova hits it way long. And look. All of a sudden, it's been not even 15 minutes and it's for love. The Greek Jesus did in fact lose. Did they, I think, did they start today? Or was Tsitsipas and Eubanks um, match, did it end before curfew yesterday? I don't know. That might have been today. I mean, and she should be. It's uh, she. She can, you know... It's not over till it's over, but I mean, she just needs to get it together a little bit. Um, and then, you know, she can be okay, but she she does seem a little bit nervous. She does not look as confident as she should be, probably, which is weird. I mean, I guess she knows she's going against a seasoned player, but she is too. And she just hit that out. 50, oh, she's low 15. She does not look. Yeah, she does not look confident and calm. All right, Ram, let's see your perfect tennis player. Schwartzman. 
Really? What about John Isner? Um, Sasha does have some good. Uh, Fighting Spirit? What about Nadal? What about backhand Djokovic? Huh. My per perfect looks a little different, but interesting. And my perfect player looks like Grigor Dimitrov because he's handsome. <laughs> I was just watching that. Um, the one um, match, uh, Tiafo and Dimitrov. And I was just like, Dimitrov is cute. And he's younger than I thought. I was like, I could be with him. No, we have never met, it, but okay. Bali, Andy Roddick. I don't know Marcus Willis. Mental Nigerio. Capricorn. All right, Rams, just jokes, just jokes. All right, Love 40. Pitava is making me like, I, I, I expected like a crazy match. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but. All right, I mean, it wasn't really her fault. It bounced off the net. It was kind of lucky. Unfortunately, it wasn't lucky for Petra. Isn't that just, just the worst when it just bounces off the net and goes onto like the wrong side? Well, not the wrong side, but like. Oh, first serve into the net. Sorry, I'm two seconds behind, but I already see what happened. Wow, wow. Why did Kitova, she didn't even run to that. She like just totally gave up. Wow. Wow. Oh, you're from Tunisia. Very nice. He is, he is handsome. Like, is he single? <laughs> Love him. He is, but it's like, you know, he, um, what's happened with what? Did something happen? I'm on, my, my stream is on a commercial right now, but, um, yeah, I just think that like Djokovic, he does obviously have natural talent, but like all of them, but I feel like he really does. Like he's very focused on tennis. Like he puts in his body, like he eats like. I mean, he has celiac, but he, like, I feel like he eats so healthy. He exercises. He does yoga. He does, like, all, I guess all tennis players do. But, like, I feel like he just takes it to, like, a crazy degree, which also helps if you're, like, rich. But, um, yeah. Oh, you mean, like, just what's happened? Like, why isn't she playing well? I thought you meant, like, she got injured or something. I was like, oh, my God. No. They are playing. Um, Jabber to serve five love. Um. Love 15. I mean, sometimes, like, I was watching the, oh, my gosh, I've watched so much, I forget which one this was. The Rebecca, who did she play, like, two matches ago? And I thought it was going to be so straightforward, and she won the first set easily. Um, but the second set, she didn't win so easily, and... It went into a third and it took like the first set was like a half hour and then the whole thing was like two and a half hours. So you never know. Cause look, fit of us coming back even now. 30 15. On okay, got getting her first serve in. She hits into the net. It's all right. Yes, Cornet. Yes, 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 yes. That that was the one. And Cornet just came back at the end of this uh, second set and pushed it to a third, and it was crazy. Hi, Cedric. Good to see you. Cedric, who are you rooting for today? All right, Ons, first set in. Some ground strokes. Okay. And it just looks like Kvitova is not moving. Like, I, yes, come on. Like, I don't know if something is physically wrong with her right now. I mean, she doesn't have like tape on or anything, but it seems like she's not going for 
balls that that she can run for. Like, okay, maybe maybe there's a chance she might not get to it, but she's not even running to them right now. Okay, well, she does do a nice drop shot, top spin, on hits it into the net on serving 30 40. But it seems like she's very sluggish. Like she's just like Fitova's just like going through the motions, not like she's playing, you know, Wimbledon round of 16 right now. On hits her first serve into the net. And that's out, brings it to deuce. Got another Ons. Me too, Cedric. I love Kvitova, but um, I would like to see Ons, if not Sabalenka, hold the trophy. Because she, you know, she was there last year. The, exactly. Yeah, and she's, I mean, both of them are very sweet, I've heard. Oh, Kvitova. She's coming back a little bit. She doesn't have the ad, but she's won a few points this game. Oh, look, back to Deuce. Feels like she's taking a while to serve. On C. Oh, it's horrible to double fault on a game like that. But you know what? It's fine. She's got some room to breathe. All right, Ann's got herself the ad again, even though her first serve is a little shaky, keeps hitting it into the net. Nice ground strokes for both of them. Back slice to Ann's. Could have just hits into the net. Oh, yeah, I love her. Love her. Oh my gosh, we have a Jabur bagel. Wow. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Aunt Jabur. Wow, I was not expecting that in the least. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eat it right I'm eating just a pack of cashews because I literally didn't get to eat breakfast this morning because I was like rushing, rushing, had to go on the train, had to come home here um, so I could do the stream. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, you're in the United States. I got them at Trader Joe's. <laughs> but yeah, sorry for my crunching. But, um, oh wait, I can finally use this. I have never been able to use the bagel button because nothing that I've streamed on has ever gone to a bagel. So I'm sorry it happened to Pitava, but hey. Wow. This is wild. Oh, thank you, Rom. My dedication of not eating breakfast. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll eat a huge lunch. So where are you guys all tuning in from? I know where some of you guys are from because I always ask it in the other streams, but Ram, Ben, where are you guys now? What time is it for you?
Yes, she did. Let's see if she can get another one. I don't want her to get another one. I want Kitova to at least want win a few games because I know that she can do it. But interesting. <gasps> Singapore. I feel like Singapore would be such a fun place to visit. It looks so interesting, like so clean, so cool, so contemporary. So it's like, is it is it like 11 at night for you? Almost midnight? Oh, yes, Bulgarian. Oh, so you you really had that hold on, Dimitrov. Lucky. Does he ever, like, go go and visit you guys? Like, does he live there or does he live in, like, Monte Carlo, like, all these people? Yeah, she's not. I don't know, like, maybe something, like, with her body's not feeling well. Maybe she's mentally not there. It seems like it's a mix of both. Obviously, we don't see, like, any tape on her knees or you know legs or arms so she I think she's in the toilet right now she's gotta hopefully just get herself together because it's very unlike her you are from planet earth me too um Sydney love that oh my gosh your dedication Samuel Edwards because you're up at 2 a.m but hopefully this one will be quick for you. I mean, you never know. Let's see. Kvitova's coming back. She's got like an another drink. So for sort of like her energy drink in hand. It's a light yellow color. So we'll see if this can work wonders. Yep. Oh, Ram, it's, all, it's almost Ram, it's almost midnight for you. Oh, how was it? Tunisia. Oh, so you really went on. That is your girl. Hi, Jenita. Oh my gosh. East Africa. That's awesome. Yes. I hope that Kvita was okay because he, um, he, uh, I mean, she needs to just get it focused or get it together. Like it's very unlike her to be playing like this. I feel like they all are. I like, I just realized that Andre Rublev has lived in Spain for the past seven years. I'm like, oh, he doesn't live in Russia. I feel like when they get that like rich and famous, or I guess, I guess they're in, living in Europe. It's just easier to, uh, to travel around if you live in Europe. But I was like, oh, they don't even live in their home countries anymore. <gasps> Gary. Hey. Yes. And um, yes, those tie breaks. The second tie break yesterday from Novak, like I, I couldn't breathe. And I was watching the stream of JG and Ben and Zach. I, I had to excuse myself for the reason that I was not able to breathe. And I was like, I just can't even look at this. You know, that's how I feel like that's how you know, like you care because you can't even watch it sometimes. I, I truly had to turn away. But um, yes. Oh, thank you, Gary, for giving me a like. Please, everyone, like, subscribe. Um if it's your first time joining, welcome, and we hope you come back. Thank you. Oh, not not too late, early. All right, well, look at Kvideva. She's up in this game. Ons just hit some great, a great backhand slice. Let's see that they're giving us a replay. Bit of us low backhand. This is another example of that point that we just saw where I think Kvitova could have ran to that or prepared for that. It's very telling that she's not, right? Great first serve from Kvitova. Backhand slice. Forehand from uh, Ons. Backhand down the line. Slice from Ons. Forehand Ons. Backhand Kvitova. She she does a killer backhand. Forehand Kvitova. She's making Ons run. And on sits it out. Yes. Okay. Kvitova is she's giving, she's getting a come on. She's giving a fist bump for the first time and fist pump for the first time in this match. Oh, thank you, Caveman. Caveman, where are you from again? Um, thank you. Rabakana. Anyone else? <laughs> what do you guys think? All right, Kvitova. Let's see what you can do. All right, 
out for serve. But look at her. Gets that 40 15. And just like that. <gasps> Hi, Andreas. My one of my good friends is visiting South Africa right now on vacation. Her pictures look beautiful. Like I it is definitely on my list. I really want to go visit there at some point. All right, let's see. Can Kvitova take this game? I want her to get at least one. All right, look at that. Let's give her a button for the first time. Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a. That is so crazy because I was just thinking to myself, oh, is there a tennis tournament in South Africa that I could go to? Like, I feel like that'd be a great reason to visit and like go to an event. And I don't think there is. That is so rude. We need one. Make it happen. Okay. On. So let's see if she can just. Uh. Which go, we might have different. All right, on with the solid serve, solid ground strokes. Could have just hits that a little bit out. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to um, follow. A little bit hard to follow. Could have if I'm trying to say what she's doing because she's a lefty. A nice backhand return from Kvitova. Ons is hitting it out now. Oh, th I, that's right. I guess they do change it every like five or 10 years. Like the, isn't the ATP finals used to be in London for like 10 years. Now it's in Rome, uh, Turin, Italy. Is it in Italy somewhere? Oh, that's so cool. You met Serena and Sharapova. That's so awesome. Uh, ooh, I would love to see Berrettini um, win because I just think he's like, oh, he's another cutie pie. Hey, um, yes. Okay. Nadine. Hello. Go on. I'm going to guess it from Tunisia. <laughs> what do you mean water? No. Explain. <laughs> All right. And on's just like that. She's at 40, uh, 30. Let's see what she can do. She can easily put this away. I mean, just because the first set doesn't mean anything, you know, technically. I mean, it doesn't mean a set, but. All right, Ons first serve into the net. Oh, I'm on a, the point, the point before. Okay. I'm just seeing her serve 40-30, first serve out. Bear with me for a second. I haven't seen the point yet. Second serve, pretty solid. Kvitova's forehand, Kvitova backhand on forehand, Kvitova backhand into the net. Yikes. I don't know what this means. Feel some air? Snowflake, beach, water droplets? <laughs> Nadine, you never apologize for being excited about tennis, okay? Ons, ons, ons. I love that for you. Oh my gosh, the Berrettini match, because they had to close the doors, um, him and Zverev on court one yesterday, the other day. Oh my gosh, I've been watching so much, I don't remember. The echo and like the slam and the sharp like, sound that his serve made was crazy. Ben, I do not know what you're saying. I I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to spell it out for me. Yeah, I do. I miss Federer in general. Like, it just, I don't like change. So when something, like someone retires, that's usually, you're just used to them being there. It's, yeah, it's weird. <gasps> Hi, Alexander. 
Alexander, who do you uh, predict will win this? Oh, okay, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> Rom has, yes, it was like so loud and like crisp. I mean, so was Varev's because his, um, his stuff is like that as well, but, uh, powerful, like his serve and stuff. But it was, I think just because the echoes with court one's roof closed just made it that much louder. All right. Kvitova, she could, she could be holding her serve 30, 15. We're just seeing um, just seeing more unforced errors from Ons. Maybe she got a little confident. Maybe, but you know, she's not doing horribly or anything. This is what this is the game. This set is what I thought the full set um, would would uh be like all right serving 30 15 then you're welcome please say hi to my hello jolene rosu rosau how are you good morning good afternoon um where are wherever you are watching hi bimal you are a fan of you are in great company we have a lot of ons fans here ben he wants Kvitova, and I do like her too, but for this match, I would love Ons to win. Just tying it up, 30 all. There was some drama. We are challenging. She, um, yep. That's what she said. She said it was in, and so did Hawkeye. Is just Wimbledon still have line judges? I thought that they were out everywhere. Oh my gosh, we're on. We could be breaking. Let me get the break. Oh, Kvitova just hits that wide. I mean, it must be so frustrating, like doing like the unforced errors. Where's the break button? Um, oh, I thought that was out from Fidiva. All right, she's doing her second serve, or from what I'm seeing. Oh, sorry, first serve was a let. Second serve into the net. Or second, this is a second serve. Okay, it's in. Forehand cross court from Kvitova. It looks like on fell and slipped, and that was out. And she's Ons is pulling at her back or leg. Oh, that was in just in. Are they redoing that? They're redoing that point, right? Okay. I didn't know if Ons was like going like this in frustration or if she has is hurt or her muscle strained. Let's see. That first serve was out. She cannot win with these challenges. Ons is getting them in by like a millimeter. All right, well, someone was just broken. Oh, you are, yeah, you are Tunisian, but you would love Kvitova to win, okay. Swimming. You know what? I don't watch F1, but a lot of the guys on there are super cute. So maybe I will start watching. Oh, you're from Nepal. I love that. Nepal. What is what is my name? Nicolette. It's, I think it's on here. I think it's like right there, right? There. 
Uh, I don't. I don't. Unless she can turn this around. I'm not sure if she will win this. What are your thoughts, Trex? Hey, Alexander Laurence. Ega. Okay, we know you're Ega's biggest fan, right? Love that. Does anyone know what happened with Rebecca this morning? Let me just look because, like I said, I was on the train and I just saw that it was a walkover. Uh, Haddad Maya, I guess, retires due to injury i'm assuming so did something happen on the like on the court or ah uh, let's see forced to retire with a back injury and she it says ah uh, it finishes in tears wow Oh yeah, injury. Oh, uh, that's it's just never fun to see that. You subscribed yesterday. Well, thank you so much. We all appreciate it. And yes, come back and tune in for everything. Samuel. Yes, yeah. Back that's just sucks. Yeah. All right, we're back with Ons. An easy um first point. And easy second, well, not easy second point, but she just, um, at least she's running to everything. Nice overhead by Kvitova. Uh, I really wanted Katie Bolter to go a little bit further because she's British. And I always think it's fun to have like a British person in Wimbledon that everyone's rooting for. And, the, and Kate Middleton went to her match. And I want to see Kate Middleton go back. Love her. Ooh, nice first serve by Ons and Kvitova hits it long again. Yikes. Hi, Daz. Oh, I hope you're well today as well. I'm doing great. What's the weather like at Wimbledon? It's all it's all cloudy here and where I am in Pennsylvania. Kvitova is hitting it long, long, long. But let's see. There, she's challenging it. So maybe it was in. All right. Good for her. Oh, so we have Andreas. Kvitova will come back. Okay. You have to have hope in your player. And yeah, as Victoria Azarenko, I guess all tennis players have always said, but she said this to me once and it has like stuck with me ever since I started playing tennis or, or since I heard it when I was playing tennis was if you are still playing, there's still a chance you can win. It's not like other sports that it's timed and it ends. Like if you are still on the court playing, there's always a chance that you can come back and you can win. Every single point is almost like singular and separate from all the others. It doesn't matter what happened before you, what only happens, what you're doing in the present and what you can change. Hello, Ben. Go another go ons here in the chat. You know what? I'm not sure when Megan will be back. Um, I don't know. Like sometimes I also just can't um, come like it's if it's a timing issue um or you're away but i hopefully she will be back soon because she is great all right it looks like kvitova's turning it up and ons is hitting him out now you know what she she, she can keep her service I have never been to Tunisia, but, um, oh my God, it's so funny because I, do you guys know like 90 Day Fiance, that show on TLC or in the United States, that's what it's on. And one of the women married someone from Tunisia. Yeah. So I've seen it on TV. All right. 15 all here. Kvitova seems a little more confident, carrying herself a little well. 
a little more confidently. Uh, it, it, even though Ans just got that point. Kvitova's got to get her first serve in. And second serve. Yikes. Double faults are never fun. Kvitova's had five double faults. Ans has had one what they're just showing. I'm a second behind on this point, but all right, she gets her first serve in and Ons hits it out. So ties it up with 30 all. Yes. Like I wish I would have like had a better mentality when I was like really playing more competitively. I just play for fun now, but at, like as soon as you, you think you're going to lose, like you basically make yourself lose. Um, so <laughs> I think Nick's getting better. <laughs> it's getting better. Daz. Oh, you always love the, um, the, oh no, Ons is challenging that the rackets. Let's see. Ons is using Wilson. Oh my God. I was looking at the comments. I didn't see that game. I think that I didn't see that point. They were playing it. That was out though. Rightfully Petra's point. Ons is shaking her head. Mm -mm -mm. She can't believe it. Let's see what Petra is using. Nice first serve. Ons backhand. A bit of a forehand. Backhand slice. Ons almost goes out. The backhand slice. Ons backhand slice. Kvitova goes into the net. Ugh. All right, Deuce. She's getting her footing though. Yes, Wilson. They are both using Wilson. Oh, my God. I know, seriously. And then you see, oh, my God, it's so funny. I saw a kid yesterday who she was at the Novak. I think it was the Novak match. They just showed her on the camera. She was, like, crying. I was like, what are you crying about? You are seated for a Wimbledon quarterfinal match or whatever it was going to the court. I was like, what are you even crying about? You're rich. Anyway, or your parents are. Come on, Kidova. I do want to see her, you know, just get some more points. Ons with the ad. Great, great down the line forehand from her. Break point again. And all right, let me just watch the point, even though I know what just happened because that's on the screen. But Kidova, nice forehand. Ons gives a nice. Forehand return, forehand slice, backhand slice, bit of a forehand. Kind of cross court for Ons, but why did Kvitova just stand there? Am I the only one thing? Like, she, there must be something mentally, I mean, physically up, like a muscle thing, cramping, because Kvitova, she's not right. Like, she, all she had to do was take two steps. It seems like she just does not have the motivation to run for points right now, right? Great way to do it. Yeah, this could be a bagel and breadstick situation. I have never commentated on a match that it might be qu so quick. Like this, it hasn't even been 50 minutes. Yeah, something is going on. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she like comes out and says she had like, uh, does she have a migraine? Does she have like, or is it like really bad cramping right now? She did seem a little better, obviously, when they went um, in between sets. And I guess she went to the toilet or back there. And I don't know. They can get like see a trainer. I don't know. But that little break did help. I guess that little energy um, helped her. But yeah, weird. Yeah, maybe she's just not. Something's just up. Oh, do you know she has personal issues or are you just, or like, zoo, give us the tea. I know. It's just something's up. Something's up. 
it's never fun. It's like, why do you have, it's like so upsetting when you have issues or if she's having something go wrong. It's like, why at Wimbledon, most important, one of the most important tournaments ever. All right, Ons. Um, up, 30 love. Could have a, with a nice ball. Oh, I'm a one point behind. I mean, could have a seems okay with the, no, she, she's not. Hi, Gene. Oh my gosh. I have not seen you on here forever. I love Gene because he also loves to go back with me <laughs> and Gary. Um, Very cool. I love that name, Petra. I love it. Yes, it is. I, I, she's just, she's not even like playing. I feel like she's, she literally is playing at 50%. I feel like she's not running. She's not, maybe she just doesn't have energy. She got no sleep. I don't know, but something is up. Hello, welcome, welcome. She's only getting points, literally, when Anz is, is giving her unforced errors. Not the best. Um, not her best. I'm very confused. And I know that people will be talking about it. Hey, oh, Jean, oh my gosh. I, yes, that was so stressful. Like, I, I, I literally was having a heart attack. So crazy. But he did it. I was like, oh my God. This fourth set made me a little nervous after the third, but he, he can always come back and pull it off, hopefully. Ons is hitting him out. That's the literal only way Kvita is getting points right now. All right, 30 all. Let's see if Jabur can hold her serve and then she'll, yeah. Something's up. Maybe she'll make a statement and say like, um, you know, sorry, I like, maybe she'll explain. She'll go to the press, her press conference, maybe she'll say, she just hit a great point, uh, Ons hit it into the net, so now, let's do Zeus. Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Yikes. I have never seen this before by Petra. It does seem sunny there. Maybe it's super hot, but I don't think Wimbledon is super hot. I mean, London is super hot today. First serve out by um, Hans. Second serve, double fault. Okay, and, and Petra gets the ad, but again, only because Ons made a mistake. Error. Should I think of Casper? I like him. I think he's super nice. I feel like he's a little bit like forgotten about because he doesn't have like a huge personality or like anything, um, which I feel kind of bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. Uh, due to another unforced error of Jabur, Kvitova gets that game. Let's just give her, even though it's a little lucky, let's give her the button. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a. Yeah, maybe she isn't feeling well. Just pay, what happened there? Why is she paying the price? Yes, yes, but not her best. Yeah, Jean, they, uh, he really is a seasoned grass player. And I think if it was anyone other than Novak he was playing yesterday, flush today, he, he definitely would have won. He was in great form and he's a great on grass. I feel bad for him that he had to have Novak in his draw. 15 all. Let's see if Kriva can hold her serve. And then maybe we will have a chance for a third set. I did not give it much hope until now. Kriva. Great first serve. Ace. Give that a round of applause. 
Yes, Cayman, exactly. I do do agree. And they looked the same too. I literally could not tell them apart. They have the same haircut. They're both okay. Hubie's a little taller, but the all white outfits, I was getting confused. Kvitova, she's just not running. Like, she's not giving her all into these points. I feel like she's hitting them, like, haphazardly. Let's see what she does with um, with this tiny lead. Is it too late? I don't know. Oz just lit. Grass makes me nervous. All right, 40, 30. Let's see what she does with this. I'm like a second behind. They're just showing me the replay of the last point. So I'm going to like not look at the scoreboard over there and just look at the thing now. Oh my gosh. They need to have some like huge industrial fans to dry this grass. Why are they letting it get so wet? This is a huge tournament. First serve out, Petra, second serve, 40-30. I know it's going to say something right there, but I'm not looking. Backhand, Fitova, backhand, Ons, into the net. Okay, look at her go. Good job, Petra. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Kvitova. Yes, it's a. Commercial right now for me at least. Round. I'm sorry to say this, but I do. Oh wow! I, do I have a twin? I don't think I look like anyone here that I've seen. Oh, that's interesting. Ons. I feel like they should close the roof every night. So then, the morning, if the, if it rains or something. I don't know, but it's getting a little wet. Like yesterday, the Berrettini and Zverev match, it was like a 45-minute rain delay, and they tried to, like, dry the courts a little bit. Then they came back out, and Mateo is like, um, it's completely slippery. Why didn't they just close the roof from the beginning if they knew there was going to be rain? Oh, actually, they're just showing a shot of the roof, and it's a beautiful, sunny day in London. There's blue skies, not that many clouds, so hopefully it stays that way. Because the rain delays are driving me nuts. All right. Ons, nice serve. Nice return from Fitova. Backhand ons. Backhand Fitova. Backhand ons. Why did Petra not, like, run for that? She was standing right there. That's, yeah, something, something's up. Because that just, that point right there. Uh, I do not know why she didn't get that. It didn't run for it. It didn't attempt it. First serve out for Ons. All right, nice second serve. Backhand returned from Kvitova. Backhand kind of cross court from Kvitova. Backhand slice, drop shot. Ons gets it and gives a backhand um, slice through the court. Very good. Hello, Ali. Another Jabur fan in here. 30 love, leading 4-3. Let's see what she does with this. First serve out. Way too long. It's the longest serve I've seen her do. Widest, I guess. Oh, gets that in. Backhand return from Fitova. Almost looks like it's going to be out from Ons. Forehand. Kvitova's forehand. Backhand slice from Ons. Another backhand slice to Kvitova's forehand. Kind of down the line. Forehand cross court Ons. And cross court out from Petra. 40 love. It is. It has not even been an hour of this match. And it's almost over. That is crazy. 
I mean, I mean, we don't know if it's almost over. I'm not trying to say, but um, we'll see. She's not even getting on. Does not really even have a super super solid forehand. I mean, um, sir, first serve right now. But I mean, it's enough. It's enough to win because Kvitova's unforced errors are just crazy. Wow. All right. So she can break for the set. Oh, Dimitrov is leading. Is anyone covering that right now from Game to Love? I don't know because I'm on my own thing, but I'll go watch it after I'm done. But I got to go eat some lunch. I'm hungry. Um, I think he could do that. I, I would like to see Dimitrov um, get far this tournament. And I love him. He's now a Lacoste man, and I love Lacoste. Bit of a first serve out. Second serve in on some nice return. Bit of a kind of approaching. She hits it from no man's land and then it hits it too far. Wow. Not in her best form. Winner faces Rebecca. Better be on. Let for serve from Petra. Oh, oh, approach volley into the net is. So painful to watch, like, ugh, so frustrating. Anza's box is like, all right, come on, come on, come on. She could win this in two more points. First serve, um, in, back end. Anza. Ooh, pops over the net, backhand slice from Kvitova. Anz is running up and getting it, and she gets it to the corner. Oh, my gosh. Where's match point? Match point. No, 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 not revenge. I like Rebecca. And I just want to see Anz. Um, I would love to see Anz or Sabalenka win the whole tournament. <laughs> so... I do like Kvitova, but yeah. Mm, first serve out or into the net. This is going to show me before, before I see it. Cause I'm like a second behind. So I don't want to, I don't want to see the score on my computer screen. Okay. That's backhand from Ons, backhand Petra, forehand Ons. I mean, Petra. Okay. Down the line Ons. Petra gets a backhand, kind of pops it up and oh, it wasn't enough. Cubby, hello. Cubby, are you covering anything today? Who is doing the Berrettini? Because I got to go watch that. Um, okay. Wow. Bravo to Anz. Let's give her a button. Where is our girl? Oh, I'm so happy for her. Where is she? Where is the button? Please hold. It's her. It's her, it's her. We're talking about Anz Jabur. We're talking about Anz Jabur. We're talking about Anz I, for one, am very pleased. Um, oh, Covey is calling Mateo Alcaraz. Everyone log off, head over to that stream. And I will head over after lunch to Covey. Oh, she, oh, Anz is your pick. I oh, love that. I would like her or Sabalenka to win. I picked Sabalenka. And she could face Sabalenka in the semis. 
Um, so we'll see. Oh my gosh, player wins, Rebecca. We'll see. Let the best player win. But wow, I hope that Kvitova was okay. She definitely seemed off. Definitely seemed off. I don't know if it was physical. I don't know if it was mental. But I would like to see her recover from that, come back a little bit stronger because she just was not herself. And we've seen her obviously like dominate. I mean, she's been the champion twice, but I'm liking uh, Anz's chances for this tournament. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for joining in and tuning in. It's always so much fun. Um, yes, definitely go over to Covey's stream right now and enjoy the rest of uh, the day and the week. Yes, Ben, bravo on of tennis. Yes, we do have great. I am so excited for the Svitolina match. I would love her being a mom to win. Um, yes, Alexander, I totally respect Fitova too. She is great. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, head over to Covey Stream and get ready for another day. Great day, week, rest of the week and weekend of tennis. I just love Wimbledon. All right. Bye guys. Thank you.